stuff because we like real happy stuff Yay. in extreme news sound the extreme news bu- uh popper hey tony hawk <laughs> hey guys extreme <laughs> <laughs> so you can go tony hawk tony hawk is predicting that by the 2020 summer olympics skateboarding will be an event Yay! also 2020 was the year that uh american football might be an event Oh, that's not going to go well. <laughs> it's going to be boring. I don't yeah. think that'll ever happen. I Maybe don't. rugby first. I don't think it will either, but... I think American football would be an awful Olympic sport. Roger Goodell said so. Roger Goodell is an idiot. <laughs> the Roger Goodell's an idiot alarm? Ha! <laughs> it's actually sound of two players colliding and getting a concussion and then the NFL covering it up. Hold on, let's, uh, let's name the top countries of all... Professional American football players. Canada. I'd say a solid 95% of them are American. Canada. Canada's probably about 3%. Great Britain. I'll give you I, less I know, than I one. I know one, one NFL player. I'll give you less than one NFL player. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's it. I feel like there's like some like weird island... <laughs> There's just like <laughs> one island. Granada. <laughs> yeah. Granada's like pumping out football players. Turn yeah. that in Tobago. It's just, there's just one other place in the world. It's just like bumping them out. <laughs> Brazil's really good at football, is what I heard. They I heard that while on holiday. You're uh, <laughs> thinking of football. <laughs> <laughs> you. But so, Tom, if skateboarding becomes an Olympic event, what are you going to be most excited about? Um. Hmm. I guess like, like the really big jump, like the that real, like super ramp. The really big jump. What if they did all of the skateboarding events that they do snowboarding events for? Ooh. And so there's like the the freestyle downhill. There's the <laughs> the half pipe. I don't know. I don't know if there are any more snowboarding events. Can they do the um? The biathlon, where you have to ski like cross country and then shoot stuff. <laughs> Can they do that with skateboarding? With <laughs> long <laughs> oh man, long Oh yeah, I like, I like to see a skateboard race. Do people do that? I feel like they do. Uh, that's longboarding more. Yeah, I know. Like they probably use longer boards or like an <laughs> off roading race, like on dirt with really like air inflated wheels. I've seen that before, and that would be so cool. Kevin just rediscovered rocket power. <laughs> I'm on season two. Do not spoil it. <laughs> Spoilers, the show ends. Ah! I thought, it was, I thought I had 19 more seasons. <laughs> but also, wiggity, wiggity, wiggity. Wiggity, 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 wiggity. Tom, the wiggity alarm? Wiggity, wiggity, wiggity. Get out of here, squid! <laughs> ah, squid. Squid. Okay. Maurice. Okay, uh, and is this this week in all? Yep, this week in all. The lottery! Okay. Tom, the lottery? Oh, sick. Because <laughs> that's the average reaction when Tom wins $3 off a $2 <laughs> ticket. <laughs> I don't buy $2 tickets, I buy $1. Ooh, Fis- fiscally responsible. Will you, buy, will you win $3 off of two $1 tickets? Fiscally responsible. Oh, I'm so pumped when I win that 50 cents. <laughs> Actually, in my life, I... That's a half... That's a 50% return. That's a solid return. I've I've only bought, uh, scratchy lotteries because I don't have the patience to figure out how the other stuff works. Did you buy too much scratchy lotteries? Bought too many... Place too many scratchy lotteries. Nice. Um, but, uh, <laughs> it was my 18th birthday when I could buy lottery tickets, and I went into a 7-Eleven with my friends, who were not 18, <laughs> by the way, and... Th- Bought them all some lottery tickets, if you know what I'm saying. If you're listening, cops, show up and arrest If you're listening, Kevin. cops, bring me to jail. <laughs> First cop to show up will get two melted popsicles. <laughs> and all of our shoes. <laughs> um, and uh, on this day, my friends both lost money, and I won back exactly as much money as I spent. Solid. Then they had they shared the same birthday, and we went to the same 7-Eleven on their birthday. We all bought lottery tickets. They both lost, and I won exactly <laughs> as much as I spent. Solid. Actually, then one time I was with my brother in BJ's, and we're like, "Oh man, we need money." 
It was all lottery machine. We're like, sure, why not? And I bought thirty dollars worth of lottery tickets because I had thirty dollars in my wallet. <laughs> Wait, I won like fifty-five dollars. I was about uh, to say, like, if you had thirty dollars, why did you need more? <laughs> because I don't know what we wanted. We wanted to like get gas or something. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, what do we do? Wait, back to this week in awe. So back to this week in awe. The lottery. Time the lottery. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, so a 75-year-old New York woman uh, named Emma Duval, I believe is how you pronounce it. Um, Duval. Duval. Was, Duval. Was, uh, I assume, eating Chinese food. She had a fortune cookie. That's probably what she was eating then. Not she, Tex-Mex. They do not... I found out the hard way. They do not give you fortune cookies. That's, that's a good point. She was not at Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> she broke open the fortune cookie. The next day, she played the lucky numbers in the lottery and won $2 million. Tom, the $2 million alarm? Mom, you're going to want to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> she was 75 years old, so I don't... I doubt that she was saying that. <laughs> Rest in peace, Emma Duval's mother. <laughs> what we're assuming. Our angel of the week. <laughs> there are children in the ass of the New York Post. Tots and angels. Tots are just angels. Oh. Not bad yet. So, uh, also in lottery news this week, a homeless man. You guys talk for a bit while I figure out this. Oh, yeah. Um, there was... Um, uh, they gave a homeless man a lottery ticket. It was a fake lottery ticket, though. But then how did he get the money? Because the, the, owner, the st- owner of the store. Oh, it was a prank. It was still really sweet, but like... Like, I saw the video and I was like, all right, that's really cruel that they're just pulling a prank on this man. No, but like, he kept the money. I know, but then I was really confused. I was like, this is not how a prank goes. Yeah, it was like a nice prank. So so the video is... Um, he, he gets the money and the first thing that he does is goes to all of his buddies and gives them... Or he, he talks about who's going to give them money. But... So there's a homeless man, um, and then this this guy on YouTube um, walks up to him and gives him a fake lottery ticket. It's not a it, it's a real lottery ticket, but it's not a winner. They go to a store and um, like attempt to cash it in, and um, the um, the owner of the store is also in on it, and he pretends that he, like it's a winning ticket and gives the homeless man a thousand dollars. And the first thing that the homeless man says is, I want to share it. Aww. Uh-huh. But he, see, like, like the oh, way they set this video up, it sounded like it was a prank. Yeah. And I was like, all right. That's, that's just mean. That's a, that's a real jerk move on your part to go prank the homeless. Yeah. yeah. Guess what? You still don't have <laughs> money. <laughs> uh-huh. Warm shelter. Aww. 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 This weekend. Ah, oh, there was gum on my shoe. <laughs> oh, there was gum on his shoe. Oh, there was gum. Why did I lick my, his shoe? There was gum in my hair. <laughs> Why did I step on this man? <laughs> <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> Full circle alarm. <laughs> hey, I saw where that one was going. I came right back. <laughs> okay. Uh. Did we discuss the Oscars? Uh, no, we did not. Oh, we did not discuss the Oscars. Take it away, Tom. Um, just, I don't know why John Travolta was there. I watched the Oscars. I saw that they decided, someone decided, hey, let's have him present an award. Adele Nazim. But, thank you. <laughs> he also was like, not only does is he not, like, less relevant than anyone else in that room. John Travolta <laughs> is pretty relevant. I'd say Val Kilmer. Has anyone even heard of Ellen DeGeneres? Alright, in the last year, <laughs> other than like trying to get different services from <laughs> Seuss's, I think that's a polite way to put it. The yeah. John Travolta sexual harassment alarm. No means no. <laughs> <laughs> um... Has he done it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so John Travolta is presenting this award. Oh man! No, like what did he do in 2013 other than that? Like you, I don't think he was in any movies. He's still relevant. He's he was in Greece. That's a lifetime pass. Yeah, Greece is. I don't think that's a lifetime pass. He was in Greece too. That's the lifetime. That's pass. the lifetime pass. <laughs> <laughs> you, he was in the remake of Hairspray. 
Lifetime. He was. Yeah, like that's like lifetime the, best. That's one of like the last roles he played. Yeah, that's yeah. one of the ones that I can last remember. No, Over. Not. Are you kidding me? This computer. I doubt it was one of his yeah, last roles. Do I think like last two roles I remember him were like that and Wild Hogs. Wild Hogs. No one remembers Wild Hogs except for Andrew. Gennario. Shout out to Andrew. Gennario. Shout out to everyone but Andrew Genario for being a better person than Andrew Genario. <laughs> All right, so John Travolta goes to award this Oscar and just butchers her name. Uh, real name Idina Menzel, right? John Travolta name? I didn't. I didn't. I actually looked up. Did you look up your John Travolta? Yeah, my John Travolta name, Kevin Tivu. Tom Bake is Theo Blork. Theo Blork. John Travolta just does get a lifetime pass, but it's for Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. I just looked we it up. We did not remember that That's one. That's what I looked up. I mean, he was. Uh, Pulp Fiction won zero Oscars. If anyone gets a pass for like on the like, the basis of Pulp Fiction, it's Samuel Jackson. He's the game winner in that film. Yeah, well, that's true. I think it was the car. I think it was Uma Thurman. I th- you always think it was Uma Thurman. <laughs> I am blank. Hey, someone in the bathroom? I think it's Uma Thurman. <laughs> but then that, and then uh, I really laughed at uh, Whoopi Goldberg for looking like she just woke up. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg always just woke up. That's a song. And just like shouting, like name dropping, like it was her job. <laughs> Good job, Whoopi. Good um, job, Whoopi. Do you know the selfie? Yep. Yeah. It turns out it ended up being a one point eight million dollar product placement by Samsung. Yeah. Did, is that really like did That's anybody just really like not realize that? I mean like Yeah, but like no. Once, once Samsung started putting up the uh put yourself in the f- selfie. Yeah. You know, like someone's trying a bit hard here. Someone's uh there was like it. ten commercials like before that. That selfie happened of just Samsung. Like, oh, I didn't actually. I didn't actually watch it. Yeah, I don't. I don't watch things like this. Um, I did. Who won Best Picture? Twelve Years a Slave. Twelve Years a Slave yeah. won Best Picture. Cool. Presented by Will Smith. Will Smith was the one who came out with that award. Killing it. He looks tired. Yeah. Yeah. He's just like ah. Uh, He's just over it. You I know? think it's like Jaden wants to be me. I think I he is the almost at the expiration date prince. <laughs> And on that note, Jude Law something something. Here's Jude the song. Law is Mr. Broad by Brando. Jude Law. Jude 